For any of my students who watch my videos, this is what you look like when you're sleeping in my class. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Tommy JB, back with another episode. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Someone got a new toy. We made it to Monterey. It's raining, but welcome to my humble abode. New trailer, first time using it. Pretty excited. We're all set up, nothing exploded. Now it's time to start figuring out our dive plans. Bunk beds back here. Buddy Mike. What up, Mike? Uh, He's totally ready to dive. <laughs> We're in Monterey for two nights, two and a half days of diving. Plan is to get at least five dives in. Maybe more if we're ambitious. Been watching the conditions religiously for the last week or so. Right now and yesterday have been a little bit rough. Waves up about like seven to eight feet. We've definitely dove those conditions before. But the conditions are supposed to be improving tonight and the next two days. The waves look like they're about five feet on average. Getting kind of slowly better and better throughout the trip. We got some dives that we're really hoping to do, but it's all gonna come down to the conditions and where the best conditions are. We're gonna start kind of getting ready. About the next half an hour or so, we're gonna start working our way down to breakwater. Easy dives, we've been there before. We're comfortable, so hopefully, if all goes well, we're kicking it off with a night dive. I'll tell you what though, it's not easy to find the motivation to uh, gear up and go jump in sub 60 degree water when it's raining and gloomy out. We're gonna do it though. Oh, we didn't get all the rest off for nothing. Hi there, buddy. Can we come swim with you? Yeah? Yeah? I, I think he says it's warm, come on in. <laughs> Thank you. 
was sick. That was great. I dove okay. <laughs> that was sick. Well, it wasn't quite the dive that we thought it was going to be. Visibility wasn't that great, but it was still fun. It was a challenge and it was a learning experience. Near the end, we had a bunch of sea lions that started playing with us. So it was pretty cool. It's dark and it's eerie and they're just coming at you from all different directions. It's like kind of like this ghost that's like trying to torment you. It was kind of hard to get good looks at them. I don't know if I got, got it very well on the camera, but I had this bat ray nibbling on the back of me and I didn't know what it was. And I turned around and it was a bat ray, scared the crap out of me. It was a success. Super stoked that we went there. Tomorrow morning, conditions look like they've slipped a little bit. It was calling for about five foot waves, now it's calling for about six foot waves. We're still gonna go out to Monastery. It's got that kind of uh, sketchy beach entrance when the waves are too big, so we're gonna go there in the morning, we're gonna scope it out. Hoping to do our dives at Monastery tomorrow, but um, we definitely need to consider backup plans. But that's a problem for future me. I'm so glad I'm a morning person. All right, well, we're hoping for good stuff today. We're gonna go uh, check out Monastery first. And we're hoping for calm seas. It's gonna be iffy. We may or may not get to dive it, but high hopes, big bucks, no whammies. So we're at Monastery. North Monastery is behind me up in that corner there. Conditions don't look fabulous. There's a bunch of divers that just came out and they said visibility is not fantastic. But the entry and exit doesn't look terrible. It's not, not very rough. It's just a matter of that visibility. Apparently it's got something to do with the plankton. There's big algae blooms going on around this area. So dream conditions, it is not, but we're still gonna have fun, that's for sure. Monastery was tough. We're not getting fantastic conditions. I said that going into the dive. I knew it wasn't going to be great. It definitely was not great. We went and got some lunch, a little chowder and a bread bowl. Now we're back at breakwater. At least last night we got to swim with them sea lions. Visibility was better here than it was at Monastery. We're going to basically do the same dive that we did last night um, and hope to get to see these sea lions during the day. We're back right where we were. San Carlos Beach behind us. This is the dive that we did last night. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna do it again in the day. Hopefully we get something a little better than what we've got so far on this trip, but it's still fun though. Bad day diving is better than a good day not diving. Write that down.
even taking my pants off. Sorry, I didn't know you were taking your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's going in the video visibility was still a struggle it was kind of strange though there was like every now and then there were little pockets where the algae would kind of clear up and the sun would come down through the uh through the kelp and you know it would like clear up for a second and actually have some decent visibility but but then it'd go back right to the way it was, you know? So still not a lot of great footage, not a lot of fish. And unfortunately the sea lions didn't come play with us on that one. That was really why we went back to that spot. We were kind of hoping that the sea lions were gonna play with us like they did last night, but they didn't and they were all around us. We just didn't see them. But still, I can't complain. It's a good dive, good day of diving. I feel like I'm a better diver now than I was two dives ago. So something to be said about that. <laughs> Good morning. Somehow we keep ending up back here at Breakwater. We're not diving here though. We just stopped by here at uh, Monterey Bay Scuba. Free fill Fridays, so we're getting our four tanks filled with air. Today's Point Lobos. theme for me and my buddy Mike man this is gonna be like five trips in a row to Monterey where we just aren't getting the goods but you know this is diving in Monterey the conditions are not always good you watch YouTube videos of Monterey diving and you see just the wonderful days of diving that Monterey does have but you know what it's got tough diving too that's where we put in there's a little uh, kind of a boat launch here you walk down the ramp you swim into here this is Whalers Cove Right now it's loaded with kelp. This is what we gotta swim through. This is gonna suck swimming through this stuff. So the surface swim out to here. Now between this point and that point, right in the middle, that's kind of the beginning of Middle Reef. All right, so here's a cool 3D map of what we're doing. So this is the cove right here. This is Whaler's Cove. This is the point I was just standing on. So looking across at these other points, right? So this here, this is Middle Reef. This is what we've dove before. This is called the sand channel that goes out to a uh, hole in the wall. I don't think we're gonna make it to hole in the wall today. The viz just isn't gonna be good enough. I've wanted to do that for a long time, but, uh, but I think what we are gonna do, we've done Middle Reef a bunch of times, so I think we're gonna kinda come out and drop on Middle Reef, but we're gonna cross the sand channel and we're gonna check out this stuff over here. Hopefully it's worth getting wet.
Well, we didn't die. Dive actually was a lot of fun. Visibility was about as expected. It wasn't great, but um, we did get out into the kelp, found some rocks, and finally found a nice school of fish that was a lot of fun. All in all, the dive was better than anticipated. I have to admit, I was feeling a little pessimistic before we were about to swim out there, so uh, it exceeded my expectations, so I'm happy about that. Still, not great Monterey diving, but definitely fun diving.